All right, who's at fault for what happened in St. Louis, Albert? Uh, I think everyone pretty much is at fault. The umpires, look, Brian Price should have been out there sooner. But I've actually been in that dugout. I've been in many Major League ballpark dugouts. And he can't see what's going on in left field from his vantage point. So it's understandable that he didn't know immediately what was going on. And yes, it is ludicrous that a game-ending play does not get more than 10 seconds of kind of consideration from the managers, the umpires. You know, I think going forward, Major League Baseball is going to look at this play and think about a rule that, you know, changes sort of this instant replay dynamic where if it's a game ending play, you got to have more than 10 seconds to be able to challenge it. Here's my question. Brian Price and the Reds are so far away from the playoffs. In fact, they may want to lose more games in order to, uh, you know, get a better draft pick next year. Is it Brian Price's job to protest basically on behalf of the Mets and the San Francisco Giants who are fighting for the wild card? Now, I think that's a great point because a lot of people are outraged about this, particularly Giants fans. But no, if you're a Reds fan, I mean, you don't mind losing this game. And certainly if you're in the Reds organization, it is in your interest at this point of the season to lose games because you get a higher draft pick, you get more money to spend on draft picks. So no, look, if you're the Reds, you want to kind of move on from this in sort of a diplomatic way, but it's in their interest to lose games at this point. And that's a really good point to make. Okay, but you know, baseball always talks about integrity. Did this violate some kind of unwritten rule of baseball? We know baseball loves the unwritten rules even more than they love their rule book. Yeah, and you know, look, I mean, this looks bad for Major League Baseball, particularly if the Cardinals end up, you know, I don't know, winning this wild card and the Giants are shut out. You know, I do think, again, I do think there will be a rule change where every game ending play should be reviewed in some capacity. If there's any question about how a game ends and some ambiguity about a play, then it should absolutely be reviewed. What do you think is ultimately going to come of this debacle? Do you think it's going to affect what happens in the postseason? You know, I actually don't. I mean, I think it is important to note that the Cardinals are still one game back and with three to play left. This weekend, it's a tight race, and you still have to give the edge to the Mets and certainly the Giants to win this. But look, if the Giants end up, if we end up with a one-game playoff or the Cardinals surpass them this weekend, we're going to look at this play as one of the biggest plays of the season. Unbelievable. If you are an umpire right now for Major League Baseball, how do you feel today? Well, look, I mean, these things happen in the heat of the moment, but at the end of the day, four umpires None of them thought enough to, and they saw this play, and they know this ballpark. It was clear to a lot of people that this was a ground rule double, and none of them thought that, look, maybe we should take an extra 10 seconds to consider this play. I got to say, people think 10 seconds or 30 seconds is a long amount of time. It's a very short amount of time. Our time is up. Albert Chen, thanks a lot. Thanks, Maggie. I, I, I just don't know how many more blows, how many more injuries, how many more guys that you can lose and keep that continuity going. If you think about it, you got a rookie quarterback, a rookie running back. Now you're going to lose probably your top wide. You are going to lose your top wide receiver.